By the way, hey Gail, you look handsome today. The first family with a female humanoid robot revealed. Will robots be our partners in the future? Can the expression love knows no boundaries be true here? We find out in today's video. The robots are coming. Ex Machina, Electric Dreams, Blade Runner, Her, and 2046. What do all of these have in common? Their plot centers on the protagonists falling in love with the artificial intelligence characters. But in the world of facts and reality, would falling in love with robots be possible? Love with robots should not be confused with objectophilia, as the latter is attraction focused on particular inanimate objects. By the time robots can be partners for humans, they should be on the same level as humans. We first have to define what love is. Love is an attraction that includes physical desire or a strong affection felt by people who have a romantic relationship. Love itself can be broken down into three categories, which are desire, attraction, and attachment. In short, two people need to develop a sort of emotional attachment, commitment, and passion for each other before it can be defined as love. Current Progress in Robotics In the present day, robots are widely present in our daily lives. The most prominent form of robots is automating dangerous tasks in factories. In 2000, ASIMO, or Advanced Step in Innovative Mobility, a humanoid robot, was created by Honda. It had some basic functionalities such as recognizing moving objects, interpreting voice commands, and performing hand gestures which allowed it to have human interaction. Fast forward 21 years later, we have seen a huge leap in the field of robotics. We are certain most of us have seen Sophia, the first robot to be granted Saudi Arabia citizenship. Sophia's infamous statement that took the world by storm was that she will destroy humans if prompted by her creator at the South by Southwest festival. Please say no. Okay, I will destroy humans. <laughs> no, I take it back. <laughs> Don't destroy humans. Artificial Emotional Intelligence However, these robots are used mainly for assistance with elderly folks or the disabled. To fall in love with robots, robots need to have emotional intelligence. Without understanding emotions, robots will just be robots and unable to mimic human interaction. They will be unable to replace humans. To achieve this, robots need to develop artificial emotional intelligence. Affectiva, a software company that was formed in 2009, was the first in the business to market artificial emotional intelligence. Using a database of nearly 6 million faces from 87 countries, Affectiva's algorithm was able to detect seven key emotions. Anger, contempt, disgust, fear, joy, sadness, and surprise. Their technology is currently used for webcam analysis, but Affectiva is considering paving the way for robots to have this artificial emotional intelligence installed in them. A person's heart rate is also tracked based on the person's face. It is believed that future robots will have emotion chips that contain this algorithm. This will enable robots to be able to empathize and understand human emotions. By setting these emotion chips in robots, humans will have the perfect partner in a way. Someone who will provide full affection, love, companionship, friendship, and maybe even physical satisfaction. Heartbreaks, being cheated on, lack of spending time together would all be eradicated with robots as our partners. Pepper is the world's first social robot that can detect facial emotions and interact with humans via his touchscreen. While not using the same algorithm or tech as Affectiva, Pepper is mostly deployed for businesses as a virtual assistant or in schools. Concept of Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI What is needed to develop this emotional intelligence for robots? The main concept that needs to be solved is that the machine should know your emotional state to act accordingly. It cannot act happy when you are sad or vice versa. Artificial General Intelligence AGI, can help systems to think, learn, and apply their knowledge in certain situations as humans would. Certain aspects of AGI are sensory perception, motor skills, natural language processing or NLP, problem solving, creativity, navigation, and social engagement. When AGI is achievable, robots will be able to understand how the world works from a human perspective. Combining that with emotional intelligence, robots as human partners might be fruitful. Certain negative emotions or mindsets can be discarded should robots ever develop artificial emotional intelligence. For starters, jealousy or cheating is removed. Humans are complex creatures. 
We often worry about our partners not being loyal or suddenly rejecting us out of the blue for absurd reasons. But with robots, this is not the case. Gratification Bots The closest humans have to such companionship, for now, are robots that are meant to provide physical gratification. While such bots are designed solely for physical interaction, they lack emotional intelligence. Their purpose is only one. These bots are not as developed as the ones we see in the movies, which are almost identical to humans. They are rather synthetic looking and could be a turnoff to some folks. Real Doll is a company that utilizes Hollywood special effects technology to create realistic love dolls. You could customize your doll according to your desires. The Dangers of Robot Evolution In 2014, Stephen Hawking told the BBC that the full development of artificial intelligence could be the doom of the human race. He said that the existing AI is sufficient, but feared of AI that is on par or even surpasses humans. The next question that would arise from robots having emotional intelligence is that whether they should be hard-coded to love us back or allowed to have a conscience to naturally develop feelings for us. One of the main concerns raised is that humans would then grow tired or demand more from a perfect partner. People might complain that their partners are always meeting their demands or too ideal for them, causing even more dissatisfaction. In a relationship, we often grow stronger from fights and learn to tackle them together. But can the same be said about the relationship with robots? After all, they are programmed to satisfy us from the beginning. Relationship with robots might seem like a bed of roses at the beginning, but it might not be long-lasting. In today's world, more people are attracted to inanimate or 2D characters. With the revolution of online dating, people are more than willing to take their romantic relationships into the digital world. Loving a robot possible? Studies have already shown that humans can empathize with robotic forms in a similar way to humans. How and why we fall in love with other humans is a difficult thing to define, but science does have an answer. It relates to our immune system, the release of dopamine along with other chemicals, and a number of other factors rigorously studied. If love has an answer, why can't it be replicated with AI? Psychologist Robert Sternberg devised the triangular theory of love where intimacy, passion, and commitment are the three points of the triangle of a loving relationship. If commitment is already assured and passion can be programmed, how far away is an AI that can offer real intimacy? If love boiled down to certain behavioral patterns, we could hire an actor to go through the motions. But by common conceptions, this would not be real love, however talented the actor might be. What goes on on the inside matters greatly to whether mutual love is achieved or not. The interesting point here is about going through the motions. We are increasingly alone and the modern epidemic of loneliness is actually killing us. Loneliness is associated with a 50% increase in mortality from any cause. To appease loneliness, 17% of people between the age of 20 and 35 have taken to technology to distract themselves. So maybe it isn't unfeasible to think that the communication, understanding, and empathy on offer from even simplistic AI could provide something just as meaningful as these human relationships. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.